Good afternoon and welcome everyone to our caregiver series, Staying Well Together. Today's session is on laughter yoga to reduce stress and anxiety. My name is Juliana Valencia and I am a caregiver specialist with Fairfax Area Agency on Aging. Um, today's presentation is being recorded and a recording will be sent to all registrants by early next week. There will be a brief survey as you signed out, so please help us by giving us your feedback. Um, a few housekeeping rules. Um, all microphones are muted and cameras for participants are off. But if you have a question for our facilitator um, at the end of her presentation, please feel free to type your question in the Q&A box at the bottom of your panel. Um, now it's my pleasure to introduce today's um, facilitator, Erica Buchholz. Um, Erica is a PhD in Applied Developmental Psychology, focusing on autism and developmental disabilities. She is a parenting coach and a laughter yoga facilitator. Erica describes herself as someone who coaches stressed out and frustrated people who thought life was going to be fun, yet they are always overwhelmed or busy. They want to let loose and feel silly sometimes, but all the caretaking, the work, the grocery shopping, and unending tasks leave them drained and exhausted. Erica says, I help them alleviate the stress while becoming playful and confident so that they finally have the energy to really enjoy their life and experience true happiness. Erica, thank you for being here with us today and welcome. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here to tell everyone about this. Well, hi, I'm Erica. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you, um, but I just wanted to say first off, you are so in the right spot, okay? If you've made it to this place, then laughter yoga is for you, okay? So you are totally in the right spot. All right, I'm just gonna click the button so I can share the screen with you. Okay. There we go. Okay, so what in the world is laughter yoga? All right, I, I get this question lots of times and it's a perfect, perfect question. Okay, now what is laughter yoga? Uh, laughter yoga, it's not, we're not gonna be stretching today. We're not gonna be doing like downward dog and breathing. Um, we're not gonna laugh at people doing yoga. Um, so no, <laughs> don't worry, everything is good. Laughter yoga is an intentional choice to laugh because it feels good and because it's so healthy, okay? There are, I, I don't know how many thousands of reasons that people do laughter yoga, and it is, is individualized. Okay? So what brought you to this call today may be different than what it brought someone else to the call, um, but it can help you kind of no matter where you're at. Okay? Now, laughter yoga um, was developed um, by a doctor in India when he realized that deep breathing and laughter made symptoms of his patients go away. Um, they would be getting the same kinds of things that the ones watching funny videos and the ones intentionally laughing and the ones who were able to find humor in a situation, they were the healthier ones. Um, and so they've done a lot of studies on laughter and laughter yoga. So if you need more scientific information, it's out there. Okay, today I'll just give you the quick overview and I'm not gonna do it because it feels so good. Okay, so it is intentional laughter. So you're making the choice to laugh. Um, that can be weird <laughs> for some people, and it can be strange for adults to do that. Um, and that's okay. You are still in the right spot. Okay? This impacts your stress response. This impacts anxiety, and it absolutely impacts happiness. The more that you laugh, the better that you feel. And the more that you laugh on a consistent basis, the happier you tend to be as well. Okay. The other piece about why is it called yoga? Because there's so much deep breathing that happens when you laugh. <laughs> you push out all of this air out of your lungs and then you have to breathe deep afterwards. This deep breathing helps get you back in balance and back in harmony. And, and it's so good for a million things inside of your body. Okay. Now, this can be a fun one-time event. You can do it today and say, bim, bam, I've done laughter yoga, right? 
or it can become a daily practice. It can be something that you use very intentionally. It can be something you use just kind of when you think of it. Okay? Um, you can do a Zoom call with your friends and say, hey guys, let's do some laughter yoga today. And you'll be like the star of your Zoom meeting. Okay? Um, it is, it's used all over. Um, I used to teach it in person a lot. It's fun in a group. I also do it individually every day because it feels good. Um, the moments that I say, oh, I'm not sure if I'm really wanting to do laughter yoga right now is the exact moment that I probably need to be doing laughter yoga, okay? Um, it has strengthened my own mind-body connection. Um, what I say in my head impacts my body and how my body feels impacts what I say in my head. Um, and this helps you to connect them and to really understand what it feels like. Um, as we go through some of the exercises, you might feel tingles, you might cry a little, you might laugh so hard that you have to pee. I mean, there's lots of things, right? And you can start getting a sense for what things feel like in your body. I would highly recommend just take a moment, take a deep breath, and rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. One is so freaking stressed, you're losing your mind. Um, and 10 is, oh, chill, relax, things are great. Okay, rate yourself, see where you're at today. And then at the end of this session, just take another deep breath and rate where you feel and see what kind of an impact it had for you. Okay, laughter yoga is a great way to bond with other people. Um, it happens real fast. Okay, because we all feel silly in the beginning. Um, and we're like, okay, I'm an adult and I'm forcing laughing with other adults. And this feels a little bit weird. But it's okay because everybody feels a little bit weird. And that's totally what's, what's normal in this situation. So it, it helps you bond very, very quickly. It's great before meetings and things like that. Okay, tiny bit of background about me. Hi, I'm Erica. I teach laughter and that's really fun. <laughs> it's like the best job I've had so far. Okay. Um, I have a mom, I'm a mom of a five-year-old. Um, I also have sets of aging parents um, that we support as well. Um, pandemic time is real different right now. Um, like I would imagine a lot of other people are feeling too. Um, it's definitely changed our day-to-day -day, um, as well as the level of support that we need to provide and unique ways of doing that. Okay. I also have a PhD um, in applied developmental psychology. Um, I focus pretty strongly on autism and developmental disabilities, um, but that really just speaks to the way that people grow and develop over time. Um, I've also taught people who work in daycares um, and in preschools how to work with the kids and how to make sure that they develop well and they keep thriving. Um, I've also worked with college students with disabilities, um, certified laughter instructor, I'm a life coach, so I like to do a lot of stuff. Um, I, I just like to be around and I like to learn and I like to be of service. And this laughter stuff is, oh my gosh, so applicable. I, I can't go anywhere now where it's not used. Like it's so, so fun, it's so useful. Okay, so some benefits of laughter. Um, I'm not gonna read them all out to you. You, you can definitely check them all out. Um, but this is like a tiny, tiny bit of the benefits. Um, if you want more information, I definitely have it and there's so much out there. And, NIH has studies on it, like there's so much out there. Um, but right now, something to really point out is that laughter absolutely impacts your immune system, okay? It, it absolutely is directly related to immune system functioning, okay? Um, it boosts your immune cells, it boosts those like infection fighting antibodies, um, it also stimulates your circulation in your body and helps blood flow, um, and it also helps to aid in muscle relaxation. Um, so it, it, that muscle relaxation, plus it lowers the cortisol, or your stress hormone cortisol, those two together has a, a immediate impact on your stress response um, and how you react to things that are stressful, as well as the, your physical sensations of stress in your body too. Okay? Um, I read recently too that 100 laughs, um, 100 like good laughs, is equivalent to 10 minutes of rowing in terms of your lungs, okay? So it, your lungs are getting that important stimulation that they need as well, okay? On top of the fact that it feels good and that it's good for your skin and wrinkles, works on your outlook, there's so many, many wonderful things to it. Okay, and what about the people that you support, okay? Whether that is you, yourself, you're doing laughter yoga for, 
or people that you um, are a caregiver for, or a teacher for, um, or a leader of, or friends of, whatever it happens to be, um, you're gonna see this is so easy to do, okay? You can make up any laughter game you want and it still counts, okay? It's good for all ages. Kids are really, really good at this. They just jump right in and go for it. Um, and it's good for everyone on the age spectrum. You need no tools, you need no supplies, you do not need flexibility of any kind. Uh, you don't need jokes, you'll see. I'm not a funny person, like I'm not a comedian, I don't tell jokes, okay? But it's really fun and it's easy to do. You can do it anywhere. Um, I, I used to do it a lot in the car. Um, it helped me to like keep the road rage feelings down. Um, I'm not in the car as much these days, but I'm <laughs> using it quite a bit. Um, and you can use it, you can do it in the morning, the afternoon, the evenings, wh whatever works for you. And it's completely adaptable. Um, statistics wise, kids tend to laugh about 400 times a day. And adults tend to laugh about four times a day. That is not okay, okay? <laughs> four times a day feels so small for, for a life that we're living that can be so filled with joy. Okay. Um, now, if anyone is taking care of kids right now, or they've got their kids at home with them all day, or school-age kids are home and trying to, to do schoolwork while being home, um, that number, that 400 number, may be adjusted. They may be getting more, and they may be getting less. Um, but just know that, in general, kids tend to laugh about 400 times a day. So just keep an eye. Um, if they're not getting their 400 laughs a day, please don't feel guilty or, or anything like that. I don't mention this to bring up guilt. I mention this just as a general thing to know and that if you feel like maybe they're not getting as many laughs, well, sounds like laughter yoga goes on the schedule for the day, right? And you can have five minute laugh session or dance party or any of the millions of things that could make kids laugh. Clearly you adjust it based on your kids. Okay? If you are doing it with kids, make sure they move around a lot. The physical games are really, really good for kids. Okay? And the more that you are smiling, the more you can bring that into the people that you're supporting as well. Okay, now the, the things I hear. I feel really silly doing this, um, or this could be very embarrassing, or people are looking at me funny, because I'm laughing at nothing right now. And what are people going to think? All fair, all things you may feel. And if you feel them, that's okay. You are not alone at all, okay? We have a lot, a lot of rules about laughing socially. You can only laugh for so long. Um, if you're the last person laughing, people might start looking at you funny. You can't laugh too loud um, because then you're seen as boisterous. And you can't laugh too quiet because then people are like, wait, did you get the joke? Or, oh wait, we're not funny and now they're upset at you because they think that you thought that they weren't funny. <sighs> Deep breath. <sighs> In laughter yoga, you cannot do it wrong. Nope, can't do it, okay? Which is really one of my most favorite things in the universe. You, know, you cannot do this wrong. You can laugh as long as you want. You can laugh as loudly as you want. You don't have to laugh at all, okay? You get health benefits by watching other people laugh. So if you don't laugh at all today, okay. Sounds great, you're still doing everything exactly right, okay? And you're getting health benefits, okay? Fake smiles, they're good too. They're super healthy for your body. Fake laughs, super healthy for your body, okay? So you cannot do this wrong, okay? And what are people going to think if I'm just laughing at nothing? I don't know, they can think a lot of things. We have no control over what other people think though. But we have absolute control over the actions that we take and if that action you're gonna take is gonna make you feel good and feel healthier and stronger, maybe that's the thing to pay more attention to, right? Here, you can do anything you want, you're good, and you can laugh at nothing, which is really nice. I don't have to tell jokes, you don't have to find a funny joke, you can just choose to laugh, right? Okay, here's a list of some laughter games. Um, there are a lot of laughter games, and the best thing about laughter games is you can make up your own, okay? Anytime, whatever you wanna do, just do it. 
Okay, so I put this list in here so that you'll have access to just a bunch of laughter games. Um, it's super easy to find more. You can find the laughter instructor, or you can just do a little search laughter games and bunches and bunches and bunches come up. Okay, so we'll do some of these today. We might do some others that aren't on this list. Um, and we're just gonna kind of go for it. Okay? If you have an idea for a game, do it, <laughs> okay? You have totally got this. If your idea for a game is cover your eyes and laugh, bam, you made a brand new laughter game. Congratulations, okay? Okay, how do we do this now, right? I wanna know, we've been talking for so long. How do I do this? Okay, couple of tips and tricks. Um, again, you can't do it wrong. These are just tips and tricks, okay? One way to get really good uh, results from laughter yoga, do belly breathing, okay? You may have heard about this in other places too. This, we're not, laughter yoga hasn't claimed it for their own, okay? So I want you to try right now two different kinds of breathing, okay? So the first one, you're gonna take a deep breath in and you're gonna suck your belly in, okay? And see how that feels, ready? Okay, did you feel your shoulders went up a little bit? Okay. Now we're going to try breathing the other way. We're going to breathe, and as we breathe, we're going to push our belly out and make it bigger. Like pretend you're filling up your belly with air. Okay, you ready? Go. Okay, how did that one feel in comparison? Hopefully, it felt a little bit more easy. You didn't get the same tension tightness, okay? So throughout these games, if you can kind of just put in, the, in your head, oh, let me try belly breathing while I play these games, you're gonna get much more oxygen into your lungs um, and it fills you up and you don't get all that stress tension in your shoulders that you sometimes get with the other breathing, okay? And if you forget, no one's gonna grade you on it, so you're good, don't worry about it, okay? Okay, real laughter, fake laughter, okay? In laughter yoga, you're just choosing to laugh. You're just making the intentional choice to laugh. Now, what that means is it might be fake laughter. You might not be really feeling like this is funny. It doesn't matter <laughs> at all. In laughter yoga, you're just choosing to laugh. Your body doesn't know the difference, right? You know the difference if someone's like fake laughing at you or something, like you, you can tell, but your body has no idea between fake laughter and authentic laughter. So you get all the benefits even if you do it fake, okay? Um, can't do this wrong, do it any way you want. You can be standing up, you can sit down, you can lay down, you can have your eyes closed, you can have them open, you can have one shut, one open. You can be loud laughing, quiet laughing, somewhere in the middle, you can change it up, you can take a break in the middle. You cannot do this wrong, welcome. You cannot do this wrong, okay? Um, sometimes we end games by going, very good, very good, yay! which seems so silly as an adult, okay? It's a great way to kind of end one game and move into the next, okay? It also stimulates acupressure points in your hands. It's another health benefit for after yoga. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen um, just so you can see me big because it's even more fun that way. Okay, first game I'm gonna play, and I would love for you to do this at home. Do this with me. Even if people start looking around at you funny, let them, yeah, maybe they want to join in, maybe they'll get some more laughs in too, okay? And if you just want to watch, clearly feel free to do that as well. Okay, you ready? The first one we're going to do is called Ho Ho Ha Ha Ha, okay? So you're just going to go Ho Ho Ha Ha Ha, okay? That's it. And then we're going to do it. And as you keep doing it, go a little faster and a little faster and a little faster. And if we get out of sync, no problem. It's all good. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Congratulations. You now know how to do laughter yoga. 
And the rest of the time here, we're just going to play funny games. Okay. Um, let's do, um, sometimes I tear up when I do laughter yoga. I'm very talented at holding all my feelings in. And sometimes the laughter yoga lets my feelings kind of come out through my eyeballs. So if that happens to you too, you're in good company. Okay, ready for the next one? This one's called hot soup. Okay, so take out your bowl of imaginary soup. Okay? Take out your spoon. And let's have some hot soup together. Oh, <laughs> that was hot. to what you're comfortable with and what your lung capacity is as well. Okay. Okay. So take a deep breath. Let it out. Okay, take another deep breath. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, now giggle it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do that one again. Ready? Deep breath in. Let it out. Deep breath in. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, giggle it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Very good. Oh, you are a pro already. Nicely done. <sighs> okay. Let's do some milkshake laughter. Okay. So grab your two cups of milkshake. You're going to pour one in and go. Ah. Try the other side. Oh. Okay. Put the top on. <laughs> oh. And now drink it down. these others haven't been. But you're going to do like filling up a balloon with laughter. Okay, but we're going to kind of do it in reverse. It's going to go. 
yoga when I'm not like leading a session or something like that is to incorporate it into my like everyday activities things that I feel a little more monotonous or something I wasn't really that excited about um so you can incorporate it with like when you're dishes or you're folding laundry or you're scrubbing something okay um it's it's just a nice way to add it into your regular everyday life because you're doing the dishes anyway, or you're folding laundry anyway, or you're scrubbing something anyway. Um, so if you add in laughter every time you do that, you're gonna boost your laughter numbers quite a bit and you're gonna lower your stress as well. Um, plus when you get to pair laughter with an activity that's not your favorite, it makes that activity that much better. Okay? So we'll just do some simple washing the dishes laughter, okay? And the next time you wash dishes, you can remember this moment and hopefully it'll bring a little bit more joy as well. Okay. Um, so I guess if you wear rubber gloves, you can put those on. <laughs> and instead of talking about it, you're just gonna laugh. <laughs> know pretty well and you look at them and you go hmm Let it out, and then just stretch, move whatever feels tight. 
like riding the bike um, because that's well, not my most favorite of activities but as I ride I'll just laugh I'll do a gentle laugh since it's already hard for me to breathe while on the bike but gentle laughter while you're exercising while you're moving it's just another great way to, to make exercising that much more entertaining okay okay let's do some gratitude laughter um, or hearty laughter so what you're going to do is you're just place your hands over your heart okay. Take a breath, let it out, and just picture something you're grateful for, and let's say thank you to it with laughter. one with um, confetti laughter or uh, like fairy dust laughter, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to scoop up your imaginary confetti or your fairy dust or your laughter dust, your laughter sprinkles, whatever you want to call it. So just scoop it all up, put it in your hands, okay, shake it up a little, okay? You're going to throw it up in the air and then laugh. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> it's falling in your hair. <laughs> in your hair. Oh, brush it up. <laughs> in my ears. Oh. <laughs> There's so much to clean up now. <laughs> I made a huge mess. <laughs> <laughs> very good very good yay <laughs> perfect okay there's this um i'm not sure if you've heard but there's a, a technique technique called havening technique um and if you don't know much about it feel free to look it up it's great for stress and anxiety and very very good for trauma um and one of the core principles of it um, is, is providing yourself with some physical touch of some kind, okay? And so what we do is we'll just pair this physical touch with the laughter um, just to help give a really good um, connection to your body, okay? So you're just going to pretend you're washing your face um, or rubbing your arms or doing something like this, okay? Just feel free to move around them. Um, I'm probably going to stick with the one on my face because that one feels really good, okay? Ready? Set? Go.
So this can be either laughter that you do completely silent, um, good for when you are in a space where you're like, I just need something for me and I need to get some space and do silent laughter. Um, or you can pretend that like you're in like the library and you're trying to hold the, the laugh in or you're trying to stay really quiet. Okay? Um, and what's good about this game is if you make noise, that's okay. <laughs> Nobody like, no laughter, you'll get policed. So you're good. Okay. All right. Deep breath. Let it out. Okay. And then try to do silent laughter. <laughs> good one for your lungs for getting your, your blood moving some circulation. So we're just going to do vowels. So we're going to go, hey! <laughs> okay, and we'll go do the vowels. Ready? Here we go. you'll get game with a group or anything. This is a really good one for a group. Um, it tends to get pretty loud pretty quick. Okay? But know that. <laughs> so that's sometimes it's hard to end it when you're in a group. Just so you know. Okay? All right. Deep breath. <sighs> and then start as a giggle and get louder and louder and louder at whatever pace you want. Okay? Here we go.
<laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Um, the, oftentimes, a laughter yoga class will end um, with a laughter meditation. Okay? Now, laughter meditations can be all different kinds of things. It can be a one minute, it can be a five minute, it can be a 20 minute. Um, so all you're gonna do, we'll just do one minute together. And a laughter meditation, shockingly, is laughing for a whole minute, okay? Um, now, if this is your first time to laughter yoga, and even if it's your 20th time to laughter yoga, a minute can feel like forever, okay? And that's okay, that's, that's totally fine, okay? Um, what I'll do is I'll keep the time, and I'll let you know, but challenge yourself, see if you can do the full minute, right? And if you need to take breaks and breathers, please, please go ahead. Um, and I would anticipate it being fake laughter, real laughter, fake laughter, real laughter, fake laughter, real laughter, and that's completely appropriate as well. Okay, you ready? Set, go. today. I hope you feel that change and I hope you feel a bit of a release. And I would ask you to just revisit that scale between one to ten and kind of where you land. <laughs> Thank you, Erica. That was quite a workout. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> I can feel it in, in my abdomen. At the <laughs> end, I, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my abdomen. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice. Yeah. Hi. yeah. Thank you so much. It's, it's been very fun. And we have a few questions actually from, from the audience. Um, okay. One person asked, um, let me read that question. It says, um, speaking of pandemic, what do you recommend for people who have chronic chest pain or respiratory illness where laughter could be physically painful? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a great question. It really is. It is. It, it's timely, right? Um, what I would suggest in those moments is truly do what, what, what feels okay. Never, ever do something painful, right? Um, but watching a funny movie and just smiling at it can also give you millions and millions of, of benefits from that. Listening to music that makes you feel good and smiling is super helpful, right? A fake smile lowers your stress hormones as well. So, so never ever do something that's painful and that's never the point um but you can still incorporate that humor and that lightness to your day um, and get lots and lots of benefits there too yeah yeah thank you mm -hmm. so you know as we get older we kind of lose our childlike nature and we become more serious about life and we could say that we learn to laugh with our minds, really, because we tend to judge what's funny and what's not. And so how do you have, do you have any suggestions to overcome that? And how do we embrace our childlike nature? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You know, for me, laughter was always the way I coped with things, right? If I was uncomfortable, I would laugh. If I was excited, I would laugh. If I was scared, I would giggle, right? But 
I made the intentional choice to use laughter to be healthier. And so now, even when I'm not in the mood to laugh, I choose to laugh, right? And in, in doing that, I actually find stuff funnier now. Like I actually am laughing at, at silly commercials and things where before I'd be like, okay, yeah, I get it. They're trying to sell me a car. But now I'm kind of like, that's pretty ridiculous. You know, and then I come to laughter, real, genuine, healthy laughter way easier. So the more you do it, the easier it is to get in touch with it. Um, and if you've got any kids around you at all in any sphere, whether that's like on like Zoom meetings or you've got um, the whole movies you can watch, like it's so easy to touch in when you see other kids laughing because it reminds you that life is, does not have to be this serious, right? And when we take it super serious, it doesn't feel good, right? Like there's so much tension and tightness. Um, but, but having reminders of this, is, this stuff can be quite silly, right? Doing the laundry can be quite silly. Me dropping stuff six times a day, that's kind of silly, right? And if you just put that lens on it, like I picture putting on sunglasses when I'm like, okay, these are my laughter glasses. I'm going to see this ridiculous situation through laughter and it lightens me up and it's easier to touch in. So, so I think the answer is intentionality, right? making a choice to do it. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I like that. You have to be intentional about it. Yeah. And, and I like that putting your laughter glasses on. It kind of gives you permission to laugh. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and if you guys need a pair, there you go. You got them, right? Like I gave you permission <laughs> right now. You can do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one of the participants says, I found this a bit difficult. Do you get better at this with practice? Yeah, it comes easier with practice. I imagine you are already amazing at this. Okay, I know we have judgments about ourselves and I wasn't good at laughing. I bet you really were, but it feels so weird. It does. I remember walking in to my, to my trainer certification class and there were a bunch of us in this huge room and we're all like, okay, I guess we're going to laugh together. This is a little weird. And the first five minutes were really weird, right? Because you're just laughing, but nothing's funny, right? And that's okay. The more you do it, the easier it is to jump in. Um, and when you are part of a group, even like a group Zoom call, like so you can see everybody, like it helps because you can just giggle at somebody else's funny face or you can put on a funny hat and blame it on the hat. Like, so you can make it that way. And yes, definitely, the more you do it, the easier it gets. So how would you suggest getting older adults that are generally apprehensive to do laughter yoga? How can we engage them? Mm -hmm. I think you start small. You start with where they're at, right? You tell them this, I, I learned this funny thing. Would you mind trying it out with me? Um, laughter helps people feel good. Um, and you can ask them a, a story about something that was funny to them. And then you can just giggle about that. Or you can say, you know, I'm, I want to try this new thing and see if it helps us both feel better. Um, let's laugh at nothing together. Or let's both put our fingers on our nose and laugh together. And it's weird and funny and silly. And it might not do anything. You might get nothing out of this. Or you might feel good. Let's just try it out. Um, and sometimes that helps just to like break it apart. Rarely are you setting a goal. You're going to have your blood pressure reduced by so much if you laugh at this. I mean, you could. Like, Yes, maybe. Or you don't have to be so tight to it, right? You can loosen up your results around laughter. It can just be a three minute thing to feel better today. I hope that helps answer the question. Yes, and I think it ties within the, our next question. It says, how would you suggest getting, um, actually, hold on that, I'm repeating kind of the same question, so I apologize. But somebody says, my, ma my mother has dementia. She's been scared and I need to calm her down every day. How can I make her smile? Mm -hmm. No, it's a, it's a great question. Um, you know, if you, if you wanted to make like a, like a little sign or if you have something around the house, that, um, that helps her feel good or a good color or something like that. Um, have it and have it around all the time. Um, 
in my house, we actually use post-it notes um, and we put them on like bathroom mirrors and we just have them around and they say, just laugh. Oh, that's all. And when you see them, you're just like, oh yeah, I'm allowed to just laugh now. And it kind of gives you permission and it reminds you. And so sometimes having a consistent reminder is nice and in a good way to incorporate it into an, kind of an everyday life piece. Um, and you can just say, hey, you know, this, this Erica lady gave me homework and I'm supposed to laugh every day. Could you just do it with me? Because if you need homework to do it all, here you go, you've got homework. Laugh every day, please, right? And, and you can blame me if that's helpful, right? You can say your teacher told you <laughs> not to make that. Um, and, and over time, you just fall into it and it's so much easier to keep it going once you start. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see this as a practice, um, as an ex exercise practice, like, just like you go out running. And if you want to get better at it, you kind of have to practice every day. So mm -hmm. on that note, how often do you think someone should practice, uh, practice laughter yoga to be able to get all those health benefits that you talked about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, great. Wonderful. Um, my sense is that if you laugh for about 30 minutes a day, you are so good, right? Like if you can get really get that going, um, lots of laughter yoga classes are about 20 to 30 minutes long. Um, because after that, like you said, you're tired. <laughs> That's a little like boxing, <laughs> That's okay. Um, uh, but doing it for five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the afternoon and five minutes in the evening, that counts too. Like it's, it's something that adds like little pockets of it give you benefits too you don't need to do it in a long stretch or anything like that um but I, I would typically say if you can get 20 minutes of good laughing in each day that's going to be really really good for you and if you can just do five minutes once a week that's great too because it just it, it all works um and if you can watch something funnier like if you watch the news and you could turn the news off and put on something funnier that is going to serve you so well and so if you want to just do that for five minutes a day, that would be perfect too. Yeah, I want to try to do that. I definitely, I could feel the workout today. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I told you I'm pregnant. So it, it was kind of, oh my gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even more, like your lung capacity is so much less when you're pregnant and your body is using so much energy to keep that baby healthy. So yeah, it's, it's definitely different. <laughs> So is it true that our body, I think you may have talked about this, but is it true that our body and our brain, they don't really know the difference um, between real laughter and, and fake laughter? Because sometimes just getting over that feeling like, oh my gosh, am I really doing this? This feels silly. Um, but if understanding that, okay, maybe my body's not really processing, I'm faking my laugh. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, uh, your, your brain, um, does not know the difference between like our, what we call real laughter, authentic laughter, and fake laughter. Like you can tell like when someone is doing fake laughing and you can tell when you're doing fake laughing. But in terms of your body, your stress hormones, your immune cells, they don't know the difference. And so they still get activated, whether it's fake laughter or real. Um, and the same goes with smiling. Like fake smiling gives you health benefits. So you could stand here and go, I'm not very happy. I feel really angry. And your body's like, oh, we're doing good here. <laughs> it's like lowering your stress. <laughs> so uh, no downsides that I can see <laughs> really in terms of that, right? Um, it's beautiful that, that your body still, your body wants to support you, right? And, and this is one of its magical ways of doing it, right? Babies are born with only a few skills and laughing is one of them, right? And they use it all the time they use laughter to sell food like it's it you are meant to be laughing without a doubt you are meant to so, yeah so uh somebody says fake laughter i don't understand how our brain doesn't know the difference between fake and real i can tell that sometimes i laugh when people keep joking and i do it because i feel nervous or, or uncomfortable i have told myself that i shouldn't fake laugh interesting oh great yeah no that's a great distinction right so if you are if someone says something and you're like haha yeah that's that's funny yeah your body is kind of like what are we doing here and your brain is like that wasn't funny but i'm trying to placate or i'm trying to 
manage the situation. That doesn't feel good in a, in a regular like authenticity, integrity place, right? Now your body doesn't know that it's not funny in terms of stress hormones and immune cells and some skin tightening and, and releasing of endorphins. Your body doesn't know the difference there. Um, but you as an integrity place does. So I would say fake laughing with other people like in response to what they're saying, probably not your best bet. You probably have a conversation about that. Um, but fake laughter in terms of I'm making a practice of feeling good, um, even though I don't feel very happy right now. Ha 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 ha. I'm not happy, but I'm trying. <laughs> that part your body is responding to and can actually shift you out of that yucky integrity place into that calm, centered, excited person that you can be. I hope that helps answer it a little bit more clearly. Yeah, definitely. I think so. Because you, you talked about the integrity of the person when and, and also I will think that your brain has time to process what that person is doing. And to really understand that you are reacting in a fake way to what that person said, as opposed to the exercises that you are. Mm -hmm. doing. Um, yeah. yeah, definitely makes yeah. a lot of yeah. sense. So yeah. another question, what year was laughter yoga developed? And why is it not widely known about it yet? Okay, so I think it was in the 90s, maybe 92-ish, but that's not something my brain holds on to very nicely. But I promise a quick Google search, you'll find it, okay? <laughs> or I can find it, I can send it to you, okay? Um, why is it not so widely known? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, <laughs> right? <laughs> We're trying. Um, in India, it's actually very, very popular. People do laughter clubs all the time where they just, not anymore, <laughs> but right, they used to like go together and everyone gets together in a park lasts for 15 minutes and then goes about their day. Um, and so other laughter teachers are trying so hard to help show that this is a big deal. Um, we just had World Laughter Day on the third um, and my email all day and my Facebook all day was quick jump on my Zoom. Oh here, jump on my Zoom because we all had to do our laughter sessions online and like my Facebook live all day with people just laughing. And um, Dr. Kataria's uh, session, I think a couple of days ago had like 500 people on it. So we're trying, we're trying really hard. So tell people, please <laughs> tell them it's a thing because it's so healthy and easy and everyone can do it. So we're trying. <laughs> Somebody says that there is about high, uh, 600 laughter clubs around the world. That's so hot. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I would definitely believe it. One of my favorite mentors is in Australia now doing it. And um, there's another man in Massachusetts who's hilarious. He's got a million YouTube videos. And so if you need, to laugh, you can just laugh, laughter yoga in the YouTube and you'll find a bunch too. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, Erica, thank you. Thank you so much for being here with us today, for giving us this time and making us laugh. It was a lot of fun and it was quite a workout. <laughs> so, um, we are getting to wrap up. And as I mentioned earlier, um, there will be a brief survey as you signed out. Uh, please take a moment to answer those questions and help us provide topics that you are interested in. Um, we do have another session on staying well together, and it will be on health and wellness. Um, we will have live demonstrations on health, uh, healthy nutrition. We'll have a nutritionist cooking for us. We will have arts and crafts, and we'll have a demonstration as well on chair yoga. And that will be on Thursday, May 21st from 2 to 3 you're all invited and um, Erica again thank you so much I had a lot of fun and our audience did as well so thank you and if somebody wants to contact you or um, wants to know whether you have any other classes available how can they go about that yeah absolutely um, my website is just becoming playful.com um, it's on the slides and everything um, and then uh, you can also join the Facebook group if you'd like. And on there, it lists out my uh, laughter yoga events. I hold one every Tuesday at noon Eastern time. It's free. It's open to anybody. So you're welcome to just come into the, to my website. You just join the little newsletter so you get the, the Zoom link in your email. You click on that. It's super easy. So, yes, I'm happy for anyone and everyone who would like to join. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you, too. <laughs> Bye. Bye -bye. Thank you everyone for being here today.